Hello, this is Shirley from Alaska, the Herb Lady. We're going to talk about the joints uh, today. Most people need some help with joints, and the joints, even even the animals, because this uh, joint support that I'm going to talk about, we used it on um, this one Herb Lady down in Texas. She used it on her dog. The 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 vet had told her to. Uh, he had so much arthritis, told her to get rid of the dog and didn't even give her the dog the shot because he said he had so much arthritis. And anyway, she went home and did, you know, started doing research and it was joint support. So she put the dog on joint support and the next year when he went back for another shot, uh, well, for the shot that she was supposed to have the first time, because I think it's supposed to last for two years. Well, anyway, uh, he said, oh, you got a new dog. She said, no. She says, um, I gave it herbs. He said, well, I don't believe in herbs. He said, she said, I didn't tell the dog that. But that joint support, this joint support, she started giving the dog, every, and you give a capsule for every 25 pounds, and it really helps with pain. Okay, joint support is a herbal combination that relieves pain, inflammation, swelling in the connective tissues, improves digestion and detoxification. Uh, joint support contains herbs that purify the blood, stimulates the circulation, it promotes healing, it strengthens the connective tissues and bones, it increases the production of the fluid that soothes inflammation, uh, it eliminates toxins, relaxes muscle spasms, and fights infection. Joint support has been widely used for arthritis, for edema, fluid retention, stomach inflammation, gastroitis, gout, headaches, hypertension, high blood pressure, inflammation of the skin condition, inflammation of the prostate, rheumatoid arthritis, cloudy urine, urinary tract in, in, inflammation. The first ingredient that's in joint support is alfalfa. Alfalfa is used for all types of inflammation, including arthritis, gout, rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, alfalfa is a purifier and assisting cellular detoxification by neutralizing the chemical in the liver and in the small intestine. Alfalfa is rich in enzymes, nutrition, and helps to improve digestion and stimulates of nutrition. Alfalfa helps the treating of eczema Ex and weak digestion. Alfalfa exhibits a positive effect on high blood pressure. It's antibacterial. Um, it's, it, it has an activity against negative bacteria. Alfalfa promotes healthy intestinal flora uh, and intestinal. I started growing alfalfa and um, broccoli and reddish seeds this last couple of weeks and we have enjoyed it. Me and my husband put some on, hands full on our salad and it really has, we have really enjoyed it. And I should, I should take some pictures of it to show you. They get so green and so beautiful and they make your stomach feel really, really great. So alfalfa is good. Uh, the second ingredient is black cohosh. Acts as anti-inflammation for arthritis rheumatoid condition, especially arthritis associated with menopause. Now that's the first time I had heard that a lot of times you can go your whole life without arthritis and then get it when menopause, and that's because of your hormones is slowing down. So I thought that was an eye-opener. Uh, black cohosh acts as a pain reliever, and um, black cohosh helps to reduce blood pressure and uh, ringing in the ears and and dizziness. The third uh, ingredient is broiling, derived from pineapple. It kills worms uh, in the gastro tract. Bromelain has been found uh, to help to relax, um, beneficial, soothing, blood vessel lining. Uh, research shows that bromelain helps to break down fibrin and substance that bind platelets together and forms blood clots and swelling. Brobaline is considered to treat inflammation, swelling, resulting from injury, surgery, 
um, and swelling from being filled in blood. Did you notice that most of all this with joint support is arthritis? And did you know people said, well, I don't have arthritis. Well, there's a hundred different kinds of arthritis. And a lot of times when people start getting stiff, that's the beginning of arthritis. I can remember being stiff when I was in my 30s. And I thought, what is this? I was eating the wrong food. I was eating, I was making whole wheat, whole, whole wheat bread for 21 years. And that was just feeding all that inflammation like crazy. Number four is burdock. Burdock is especially useful for treating conditions related to chemical toxins. Burdock is well known as a blood purifier. That's the first one when I want to purify somebody's blood is burdock. And it's used for inflammation, both internal and external. Uh, clinic studies have shown burdock improves the liver and gallbladder function. Research indicates burdock to help treating inflammation conditions resulting from chronic toxins and arthritis, gout, heavy metal poisoning, uh, infection, sore throats, chronic skin uh, conditions such as abscess or acne, boils, burns, eczema, psoriasis, um, skin infection, and skin tumors. Uh, I, if I had any of those, especially eczema and psoriasis and skin infection or tumor, I would be putting burdock in my, I would start out small and just keep moving up till I see the results of it and that, that the problem of the uh, skin problem would go away. Number five is capsium. Uh, it stimulates and increases circulation. Heart, uh, it helps to prevent heart attacks and strokes. Capsium has been found to improve digestion. Inflammation enhances and removes toxins from the body, relieves gastro problems, thyroid dysfunction. Uh, capsium is good for the respiratory respiratory condition, asthma, pleurisy, inflammation of the lung, lining of the lungs. And honestly, cayenne can almost help anything. And people think it's hot, but more you take it, less hot it gets. It's only hot when it's trying to clean up the mucus that's in your body. It's a cleaning herb and it increases the circulation and it probably does a thousand different things in your body. Number six ingredients is catnip. And when you think about cap, how, how they uh, like catnip, they only like it when they can smell it. If They can walk right past it if you don't crush it or something because they go by the smell. But it, it soothes, it's a sedative on the digestive system. It releases colic. Uh, it helps with nervous indigestion, stomach upset. It uh, helps with headaches associated with digestive problems. Cabinet is also um, helps with um, coughs, chronic coughs. So I hope you learned something about joint support. It's something that I personally think that everybody should be on if they have any knee trouble, joint trouble. I mean, why get a fake knee when you can have something real that God made you and you can uh, repair it with joint support? So I would try it, try joint support. And the last week was Everflex. If you put both of those together, it's like having new joints and new uh, knees and new elbows. I mean, it just really works really good because they repair and feed together. Have a great day.